Now he can kick long. This might be the last kick of the day, the last throw of the dice. Kick it, Ben. They need a mark here. They've got one. Is it a push? No, it's Leech. not a push. Leach has got it, and the mark has been paid. There's the siren. Oh, boy. Drama here. Could be a draw, Peter. No, we draw. Might kick it out of bounds on the full. Well, it's a courageous, two just courageous decisions by umpire Mark Prince. The first one to go against Michael Voss for the oh. out of bounds on the full. And this time for the uh, the mark to be paid. Well, nothing certain here. A point will draw it. A goal will win it for the Dockers. If he misses everything, Brisbane Lions have won. He kicks. And he goals. The Dockers have won a thriller at Subiaco. Fairy tale, he will kick the goal and win the game for Fremantle. You mentioned at the start, Ken, that the Fremantle supporters wanted to see the wizard. Yeah. They've seen him a couple of times tonight. Farmer from reverse angle to win the game. He's stuck it in. He celebrates. He jumps into the crowd. Unbelievable. He might never come back. You could not run. Fremantle have won after the siren. Shakes hands. Oh, they took it one-handed with Farmer coming at him. Peckett has another bounce. He's going to be run down from behind. He can't see it. He's gone. He's gone. McFarland's got it again. 33 seconds He's to go. go. McFarland's go. got it in his hands. Long kick forward. Looking for Pavlich in the pack. He goes oh. September glory for Justin Longmuir. Has kicked 14 goals, six this season. A score will make it a draw. A goal will give Fremantle a shot at September action. Gee, look how far he's come back. Yeah, he's oh, not sure he's got to go the distance. He's getting plenty of advice. 38,057 people hold their breath at Subiaco Oval. Millions of people around the country. A handstand next to him to put him off. In comes Longmuir to take his kick. Oh, ice cool. Ice cool. Fremantle have won after the siren. Look at that. Look at the scenes here at Fremantle. <laughs> the Dockers, shockers on Friday Night Football, become last second heroes. They could well be into the finals as the purple haze goes up around the ground. Sandilands tries to get it out. Here they go. Lucky Neal from centre half forward. Needs a mark and he's got it. Oh, oh, yeah. He's going to kick after the siren. <laughs> what drama at the MCG. Oh, how big a kick is this for the former skipper? David Lundy. The siren's gone. He needs to kick a goal. <laughs> That's sick and the gut's feeling at the moment. They haven't scored a goal since the 19th. football, it comes down to one kick. David Mundy, the 259-game veteran of the Dockers, the former captain, comes in. The kick is on its 
They've got to be brave. The Lions trying to stay level with the top four. Fremantle trying to move into the top eight. Plenty riding on this one. Mundy the veteran emerges. Kick around his body. Bounce waiting there for Ryan. Back now for Langdon. Backtracking. Any score almost do. Walters! Ryan, Sunset on the lead. Ryan took the initiative and he peeled off. And as a defender, ran inside forward 50. And Charlie Cameron was trying to split, marking two, marking or tying down two Fremantle forwards. The seconds tick away. It'll be a shot after the siren. Any score will do. Michael Walters with the last kick of the Sir Doug Nichols Indigenous round. Lines him up from 50. Strikes it true! Michael Walters wins the game for the Dockers. He makes every post a winner. Eight lines in the goal square saying what happened. A dramatic victory. Fremantle move back into the top eight. They left it right to the death. And there's no one quite like Mike. A one-point win to Fremantle.